Nessa, so we talked yesterday about how the feds are changing their plan for increasing those interest rate hikes, but we still need to talk about your plan for when they do. So we brought Chris Jones in us with here. So he's from Edward Jones. He's talking to us about what to do when how, how bonds are kind of affected with the mm -hmm. interest rates hikes. That's right, Dane. Thanks for having me this morning. Thank you for coming. <clears throat> We've been in a falling interest rate environment until really the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. So investors now have to kind of look at things a little bit differently because of what's going on. Um, the main thing to really understand is how bonds work when interest rates fluctuate. Bonds usually work uh, what we would call inversely to interest rates. So therefore, think of a teeter-totter. When one side goes up, the other side goes down. Okay, makes sense. So when, when rates were falling in years past, bond prices would go higher. Okay. But, but we're now experiencing rising interest rates, which has the negative okay. effect of making bonds go down in value. Got it. Okay, so, you know, with that being said, what uh -huh. are some adjustments that you might want to talk to a financial advisor about with that happening? Well, the first thing I would recommend to investors, especially bond investors, is not to panic or not to be concerned. When investors buy bonds, they buy them for safety, they buy them for fixed income, mm. and they buy them for the income that comes in on a continual basis. So the income will never change when you buy a bond. It's however the price of the bond will fluctuate. Okay. So the main thing investors can do, one, one strategy that would be a good strategy to adhere to would be to ladder your bonds. In other words, try to have maybe like one third in short term, one third in intermediate, one third in long. That way a little bit of a mix. Well, if you do a mix like that, what's good is that no matter what happens to interest rates, you can't be wrong all the way. Uh, plus, if rates are rising, if you invest some in short-term interest rates, um, th those monies will come back at an earlier date. Th therefore, you can take advantage of higher interest rates. So basically, bo uh, bondholders want to make sure they've got high-quality bonds. Mm -hmm. They want to make sure they diversify across many different sectors. Mm -hmm. uh, and they mainly want to buy bonds to hold on to to keep because the income will be there to support them in their, in their years be beyond retirement. They can use the bond income also to supplement retirement income and or Social Security. Mm, a lot to think about, lots of options, lots of choices, and lots of ideas. Thank you, as always, Chris. And also, remember, talk to a financial advisor to really help you get the most out of your investments. Thank you, Chris. Thanks for having me. Just